So welcome ladies and gents and welcome back to today's video. We are back with eFootball yet again. Blimey, two eFootball videos in a row. It's madness, isn't it? But we are talking about 2023 once again because Konami have come out with some actual information. So that's what we're going to be covering. We're still trying to get to that 100,000 mark, folks. So if you do enjoy today's video, subscribe for the latest because once fifa is out we will be putting out some content we are literally going to do and we will do it i know everyone's going to do it a manchester united 100 rebuild where i literally sell 80 percent of the team probably that's that's the way it's going to go anyway let's dive into this so if you head over Limey, it's yellow, isn't it? <sighs> Might as well put the sunglasses on, to be honest. Where are they? So ridiculous, the colour scheme. But anyway, here we are. eFootball 2023 Season Uno uh, is what we're going to be looking at. So we're going to read it because I want to test out Konami's verbiage. So the 2023 season of eFootball World will soon be underway. Added to the already star-studded lineup of Lionel Messi, Neymar and Tarfusa Kubo, two new global ambassadors will join forces with eFootball and take the game to new heights. Oh, it sounds like a movie. We would like to welcome to the eFootball family Trent Alexander-Arnold, the English star who is unrivaled crossing, or whose unrivaled crossing, accuracy blurred the lines between defender and playmaker, while synonymously, that's not right, synonymizing, synonymizing, sodomizing, sodomizing, we've gone for it, him as one of the best suppliers in modern football. That's what we're going to call it. And Bruno Fernandes, the Portuguese sensation who's been lacking recently, to be honest. The most forbidable, forbidable and prolific of number eights who loves to take on any game by the scruff of the neck with his phenomenal physicality and game reading prowess. Where on earth do they find that? What do you mean physicality? After time, I see Bruno. He's lying on the floor crying. Uh, recreating their movement and signature skills through the aid of motion capture, the gameplay is evolving together with the sport. From legends that have already made their marks to the game to the generational talent that is going to take the sport to a higher plane. Be a part of the paradigm shift. I don't even know these words. With the new season of eFootball 2023. So there we go. I know I butchered a lot of that. But there is the verbiage. And uh, there are the new lads. You can see Trent looking like, what's going on here, boys? What am I wearing? I mean, honestly, Konami have got a win. An award for the ugliest kits around. I mean, look at Bruno. Looks like a set of curtains that he's just pulled off. Comedy gold. I mean, Messi looks a little bit more respectable because the old arm sleeve helps. But there we have it. All right, let's move on. So now we've got a new season kickoff, new player types and licenses. So the theme for season one will be new season kickoff, new player types and licenses. Wonderful name. With a new season comes new players and managers, as well as new hopes and dreams for clubs and supporters. Lace yourself up and enjoy the return of football with the latest football kits and player data. Yeah, I know it's American website, so they say uniforms from Shocker. So, new player types. Let's have a discussion about that. Let's move in a little bit more. So, they're introducing two new player card types that will offer more, more team building freedom than ever before, folks. Design the evolution of your own players through player progression. And that's not new. We've seen that before. So, we've got highlight hand picked players who have put in exceptional performances in the current season and have a higher progression ceiling than featured. So there we have it. There is your highlighted cards for Trent and Mr. Bruno. Fantastic. 95-96. Madness. It's a whopper. All right, moving on, we've got epic cards. So here they are, celebrating the defining season of big names past and present with a higher progression ceiling than legendary. So we've got Clarence Sadoff. He's a 96 there. And the old Wesley Schneider. If you saw Wesley Schneider nowadays, he has put on some weight. He's a bit of a porker. But uh, there we have it, folks. So that is what's coming in uh, the new update. I mean, 
doesn't really interest me at all. It's just cards. It's just cards. All the players generally, everyone's got the same teams, folks. Everyone's got the same teams. All right, moving on. And by the way, the card images and player stats are not finalized. They may undergo changes in the future. Brilliant. All right, new licenses. So eFootball 2023 will see a number of new licenses being added to the game. Two football clubs, both alike in dignity and heritage. We lay our scene in Fair Milan as we introduce AC Milan and Internacional Milano into the game. Joining them will be the soaring eagle of Mexican football, Club America, and the immensely intense league that they hail from, Liga BBV AMX. There we go. Uh, apart from the authentic kits, players from AC Milan and Inter Milan will also be donning the eFootball original training kit in-game. Seeing the players in training kits during warm-up will surely add to the occasion. 100%. you got to love players that are training in kits. Really? Konami? Really? Anyway, whatever, whatever floats the boat. But there we have it. There's the confirmation of new licenses. I mean, is this new? It's not really new, is it? It's just being re, um, reinstated or renewed. Renewed's probably better, isn't it? Moving on, we've got Dream Team power packs now i did get some of these myself because konami sent me some coins and i bought them but you know it's all up to you so basically what we've got is the uh, club and premium ambassador packs uh, completed with 11 players as we know uh, but they've got the new club so ac milan and inter milan and club america will also be available as club packs that's pretty much that in the nutshell i'm not going to bore you guys to death with reading all that out but we'll see. I mean, who are we going to have in there? I don't know. I don't know. Could be. Could you bring back an old Zlatan, the old Ibrahimovic? I mean, he played for both clubs. And now we've got manager packs, folks. That's right. So we are not quite done yet. Also introducing manager pack, a set of training programs along with a managerial mastermind to take the reins of your dream team. We've got Cruyff and Canivaro are suited and ready to propel your dream team to the next level. All right, so this is going to be coming at some point later as well. What does it involve? I don't know, but we will find that out later. And there we have it. So nothing crazy, no talk about gameplay at all, which is a little bit ridiculous. I mean, I'm hoping they're updating the game. We know this game is very, very much mobile, isn't it? So they've kind of... I don't know. I mean, if Konami are really going to stop focusing on console and really just pack it in with the mobile, they're going to lose a lot of customers because we're going to stop playing it. You know, I want to play a fully fledged console PC game. If I wanted to play a mobile game, I'd whip out my phone and I'd play some crappy game in the app store, you know, or at least make eFootball just slightly different blur the lines between the two like you've got fifa mobile and then you've got the normal fifa but konami aren't going to do that as if right let's move on to uh, possibly a few other things here so here we go as you guys can see by this video um they have snapped up and renewed their license with the gunners so there we have it they're just going to show you a very very quick video uh, there is Gabriel Zeus in his new colours. What a start to the season he's had, folks. He has been banging in the goals. So North London is eFootball. And there we have it. So nothing crazy, just a quick look at uh, that. And there was the, the confirmation of all the information that we just went over. Well, let me know what you guys think. Are you really fussed about it? Is this going to make you want to play the game or not? Moving on, the legends are back in town, folks. That's right. This week, we celebrate three heroes of their national teams. You've got Italy's Andrea Pirlo, Czech's Jan Koller, and England's Michael Owen. But this has been done before. They're just recycling. If I'm Italian, I'll be like that. They're just recycling, folks, old content. That's the frustrating thing. It's like they're not even putting out new legends with new stuff to do you know if you put out a whole bunch of man united legends you know brand new manchester united legends that we've never seen before a cristiano ronaldo back when he was like 20 you know what i mean it'd be amazing but no we're just seeing this recyclable nonsense and finally this was just what we are looking at uh, as we scroll down here it does state the latest season data new licenses and new player card types will be added to expand the range of play we will also be making a variety of adjustments based on your valued feedback all right 
And the release date of the update will be announced in due course, probably around Gamescom next week. Thank you for your patience. Bloody, 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 blah. And I think, folks, that is pretty much it. And there it is. That was the partnership confirmed once again with the Gunners. So there we have it. That is the uh, 2023 update summed up. Very simple. It's all about card designs, and we've got some new, you know, new card designs with new card things and, yeah, whatever. Cards, cards, cards. It's all about cards. Anyway, let me know your thoughts below. We will be back tomorrow. I will be showcasing, hopefully, the Pog Champion update on PC. Uh, and then we're going to be updating as well on eFootball Universe. Version 3 is coming out very shortly. And that website is going to get a massive update over the weekend. So stay tuned for that. But until next time, subscribe for more. Let me know your thoughts, folks. Let's get to that 100k, baby. Till next time. I don't know why I said baby. Until next time, take care.